if you want to see what I have in my makeup backups, then stick around. Hi there, it's Ilen with another video. As promised at the end of my five part series on my makeup collection, I am ready to show you my backups. They are all housed in this very big train case. I will have a picture for you of the train case open from above so that you can get a feel for what is in it. And I will go slide by slide by makeup category to show you what it is that I have in backups. Now, as I mentioned in the intro for video number five of my collection series, my makeup backups is I find a separate category of my makeup because it's not necessarily all for me. It is a bunch of deluxe samples, smaller samples, and full-size products that I may be using, but I also use as gifts for family and friends when they talk to me about different makeup products and identify a hole in their makeup collection or maybe a product category that they would like to try. And it's great because I consider it a privilege to be able to go and hunt in this train case and see if there's anything that I can gift or anything that I could suggest as a sample for someone to try before they go and take the plunge and spend, in some cases, a whole lot of money so that they can avoid buying something they regret. Enough talking. On with the video. I hope you enjoy and if you have any questions on the backups that I present, please by all means leave me a comment in the comment section down below and I would be happy to help. If there are any videos that I reference in this particular series of makeup backups, I will have them all listed in the description box below. Now, for anyone who has watched my channel for a while, you will be very familiar with my train case. It has appeared in a number of videos, and it is where I keep all my backup makeup items. And those backups are for every step of the process in makeup application, from primer all the way to setting sprays, etc. So you're going to see every category that I have currently as a set of backups in this train case. And um, we will talk through and see just how many I have, in some cases a stupid number. But uh, we'll talk about what happens to them and how frequently I use them. So let's just jump right into it. You will see a ton of primers in this first slide. You'll see three of the Hello Fab Coconut Skin uh, Perfector. And uh, let's go from the left to right here. There's a Revlon, there's a Laura Mercier, there are three Smashbox, some Becca. I think there's one there that's Amour Pacific, I'm not sure. There is a NARS baby skin from Maybelline. Now that baby skin is the only one out of this whole set that I've actually used a couple of times, but I tend to want to take it on vacation, which is why I put it right back into my backups. Everything else there uh, that you see there is untouched. You will also see three of the Guerlain L'Or primers, and two of them are out of the box. One is in the box. The one that's in the box was actually gifted in that gift that you saw earlier in the video. So I definitely practice what I preach and share the wealth often. You'll see also Fenty, you'll see Bosha, Nude by Nature, and another, I think this one's a Maybelline, yeah, Instant Age Rewind as well on the far right. Lots of primers. I did not realize how long primers take to use up. So I am going to have primers for the next two or three years in here. So as long as I don't open them up, I think they'll be okay. But again, probably a third of those will end up being gifted to family and friends. Well, it appears I am really messing up with this slide because I realize a few items should not be in this video. They should have been in the skincare video, but let's forge ahead no matter what. On the far left, you will see a Clinique take the day off and that one along with the little moisturizer at the top right side of Clinique is going to go into my focus on the Clinique brand. Then you will see 
I think it's called Juice. There is a stem cellular, the second box from the left on the top row. That's just a, a skincare sample that I will either use or gift. And then Josie Marin, there are a couple there. Uh, the one that is not in a box has been gifted to a friend already. And Dream Skin by Dior, I've never used it. I look forward to trying that sample. And then a couple of Alginist, I think those are eye creams if I am not mistaken. That will go into the Alginist trial and underneath another clinic moisturizer i think that's a moisture surge that will also go into um, the pile for my focus on clinic at some point i've got a clarins night cream that is kind of a one-off product and then next to it is an nia 114 strivectin product that will go into my strivectin brand new focus when i get to that skincare item if we go to what I'll call the second row, you will see some Estée Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Actually, it's called Estée Lauder. Lauder is pronounced uh, with the English pronunciation. And there are a couple that don't have the box. And then the third one on the right has the light blue box. That one was gifted to a friend just a few days ago. Advanced Night Repair is my favorite serum, so I am quite happy to have a couple of small ones in my backups. And that is probably a product I will have to purchase sooner than later because I am almost out of night serums, period. Next over is a Vichy Aqualia Thermal. I've never tried that cream, looking forward to doing that. Next over is the NIA24. That is a fantastic cream. I just wish that it were not $100 or more a jar. Then a couple of Dr. Jart Water Fuse. I think it's a fine moisturizer. It's not extremely moisturizing. It's more like a, a water cream and I'll use it probably during travel and probably in the summer, but uh, it's fine. Then you'll see a body butter stick. And that is only a stick that I use when my skin is particularly dry during the winter. I don't keep it in my everyday makeup drawer or skincare drawer because I just don't use it often enough. So it stays in my train case. Then bottom left-hand corner is that darn Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I knew I had it and it did not make it into my skincare video. I will be using it in conjunction with the Wrinkle Warrior when I do a Kate Somerville focus. Next over, it's very hard to tell, but that is a Jouviance uh, Dark Spot Corrector. And that will be the product that I use once my Paula's Choice that I am almost through with is done. And then you will see a bunch of Kodali products. There is some moisturizer. There are a number of serums from a, a number of the, well, I think there are three lines uh, in Kodali's products, two or three. I will be focusing on Kodali using all of these products at some point. I don't have a ton, but I think I have enough to be able to make some sort of a judgment. The one on the far right that in the green, that is the Vinactive, and I have used that serum quite a number of times in that size, and I really like it. So I'm looking forward to trying more of the Caudalie line. And the two that are in the kind of gold package, about three in and then uh, two from the end, that is the Premier Cru um, line, and it's their deluxe line, and I'm really looking forward to that. Now, just above Kodali, you will find a rose face mask from Fresh and a Sephora mud mask. I will also look forward to trying those as well. Um, kind of as one-offs, I don't think they really go with anything else in my collection, but they are masks that I have had uh, in my mind to try at some point. So there you go, a very eclectic slide. And we are on to concealers, and you will see a bunch of Benefit Boing concealers. There are three kinds on the left, two further on the right, and you'll see that I wrote a number two on three of the caps. It's because I have the first shade number one and number two, and I wanted to be able to differentiate between the two. I do like both colors for different reasons. Number one under the eye and number two around my nose. I will definitely use all of them. They are not very big, but I am so surprised at how long Boing concealers last. I was very jazzed about getting those two sets because I get to try so many of the 
different types of Boing concealers without having to commit to the full size. And I have no doubt I will be using all of them. You'll also see Catrice, NYX, Maybelline, Tarte, Physician's Formula. There is also the Becca under eye that is underneath that uh, Boing concealer. I hope you can see that on the bottom right hand side. And then also Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. That was a free full size product and I don't remember why, why I got it or whatnot, but I won't say no. We will see how it works. These are probably all products that I will uh, keep and use, although certainly one or two of the Maybelline Fit Me's or the NYX concealers, I would uh, have no issue with, uh, with offering to someone if, uh, if they were in uh, need of it in short order uh, here at home. So uh, I think that's enough on concealers. And we have more complexion products. You'll see a Sephora Bright Future foundation. You'll also see a couple of Makeup Forever samples, a BB cream by Physicians Formula, a CC cream from Smashbox. That's the camera ready one. And that one I have used. So similar to the baby skin from Maybelline, that camera ready CC cream I do keep for travel. Then that long black cylinder in the middle is a Sephora foundation tube for travel that I just keep in my tra train case. I have not yet used it, but I think that it will be useful when needed. I have some blotting paper from Essence and that is because I don't use it very often, so I keep it in my train case. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've even touched those 50 sheets there. And you'll see three more of the Rimmel Lasting Finish. This is a waterproof powder foundation that I am a big fan of in the summer. And they were clearing them out for just a couple of bucks each. So I went a little crazy and I have a total of four of those. Hopefully being powder, they will last a long time. The Fit Me Pressed Powder, that is my backup of the pressed powder that is currently in my everyday makeup drawer. And when I uh, went over the powders that I had in my makeup drawer, I did mention that I had two of those Tarte um, small deluxe samples as backups, and so you see them there. And then the little box on the bottom right side and the small containers, those are the same thing, and they are a wonderful sample of the Cover FX loose setting powder. It is a fantastic powder and I absolutely love that tiny little guy for travel and I'm very happy that I have a couple of them. We are now on to bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. You will see a couple of quite large ones. The one that is called Marcel in the top left hand corner. That is a bronzer that I picked up for 30% of the actual cost. It's a, an illuminating bronzer and looks quite nice. I did show it in one video at one point. There are multiple tones in it and some of the powder is quite luminescent. And then on the bottom right hand side is an Essence matte bronzing powder that I did try out a little bit and I was pretty impressed with it but put it away because I have so many bronzers. So out of this whole set the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder is the only product that has been used. The bronzer that is in the top middle there, the butter bronzer that is a regular butter bronzer that is a backup and that was purchased before I realized how gosh darn darn long these bronzers take to use up. On the top right hand side is a powder I am not sure why I got. It's a very kind of sparkly powder and I have no explanation for it. But I'd like to try it before I move and decide uh, that I don't want it in my collection. Now in the middle you'll see a couple of Tarte blushes. One of them I think is, is exposed and the other one was Party. And I say was because that is a blush that I gave away in that little gift um, that you saw at the beginning. And I'm very happy to have been able to offer that blush off to someone. I have had the uh, chance of using the party blush, uh, a different one that ended up breaking on me. And I'm, I was happy to let that one go to, uh, to a nice home. 
Down below, you will see a, an untouched Becca Opal highlighter. To the left of it, you will see a NARS Laguna bronzer. Actually, no, pardon me. No, that is a uh, NARS Orgasm Blush sample. And then to the left of that, a Hula Benefit Regular Bronzer. And those two, of course, are samples, deluxe sample size. We are now into brow products and also eyelid products. Let's go from the very far left. You'll see a couple of samples of the Gimme Brow in shade number three. I really like those little samples and uh, I ha actually have, I'm down to one because I just uh, gave one away. And next up is a brow pencil from Benefit. It is the Precisely My Brow in again, three or 3.5. Then there is an untouched universal brow crayon from Joe Fresh and an, a, um, a pencil, a brow pencil in the color Ash also from Joe Fresh because it was a ridiculously cheap price. So I bought a backup of it and I like the pencil so I don't have a problem using it. Then I shamefully have quite a few pencils. You will see five of them in the dark. You can see at the, the bottom of the pencil there that it's a dark brown. And then you will see four of them that are medium brown, one light brown. And then the one, the last black one on the far right is actually a clear brow wax. So those are waxy crayons that both offer for the most part color, except for the, the clear one on the far right, color and also hold to brow, uh, the brows. And I fell in love with them and I did not realize how many of them I had. So I will be working through those for quite a while, but they're all for the most part sealed. So quite happy to, uh, to know that they are at least well preserved. On the far right, you will see that I have a black bean, uh, NYX jumbo crayon, and there is a milk crayon for some reason that is missing out of that picture. So those are my two backups for the NYX pencils, jumbo pencils. And then on the bottom, you will see that I have a NYX eyeshadow base. Those take forever to use, so it will be in my backups for a while. And then I have two Sephora Beauty Amplifier. Uh, and they're, they're called primers, but what they really are is a beige powder to set my eyeshadow. But given I am using the Smashbox matte exposure right now for any sort of base eyeshadow need, I will have those backups in my train case for a while. We are now on to um, some liquid liners and then some mini of the pencils for lip and eye. So on the left side, I have three. Those were points perks, I think, at Stila little um, felt pen. I really like the Stila liner, so I'm very happy that I have three of them. Then on the top right-hand side, you will see the classic line felt pencils or pencils felt liners from Sephora I like um, the classic line actually the two underneath are the dramatic line I like both of them then there are two untouched liners by Rimmel I'm fine with that one as well and I haven't tried it yet but there's also the super fine essence pencil I've heard a lot about those pencils from YouTube and I thought I would give it a shot because it's only a couple of bucks. Then a pot liner, well, I don't know if it's called a pot liner, I guess a well liner from Sephora right in the middle that is untouched, that's in black. And underneath the liners, uh, underneath the essence liner I just talked about is a tattoo liner from Kat Von D. And then the three liners right underneath the tattoo liner, those are actually liners that I have used and I keep them for travel. And they're just more convenient to keep in the train case because that way I don't lose them. Then I have a metallic liner from Sephora and then the bottom one which is a uh, lip liner and those two the bottom ones are two that are still sealed I have not used that lip liner I don't even remember which brand it's from 
This next section helps explain why I need the Mascara Madness uh, Panning Edition because I have a ton of mascaras. Now, not all of these are mascaras, but the vast majority of them are. Most of them are deluxe samples, but I do have quite a few full size in there too. From left to right, I have a Lise Watier. I'm actually really looking forward to trying that mascara, but I have a bunch in the Mascara Madness to get to first. Next one is an Annabelle. It is out of its package, but it has never been cracked open. Next one after that is a full size of the Urban Decay Perversion. It came as a set with a deluxe sample. I've used that uh, deluxe size, travel size, and now that uh, other one is waiting in the wings. Next up is a Better Than Sex mascara that I got in the Sex on the Peach set that I presented some time ago. Next to that is actually an Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, so not a mascara. Next up is the Essence Lash and Brow Clear Mascara, which I use very much like the Anastasia product to set my brows. Then there is the Big Show Mascara. I believe that one is again from, yeah, Annabelle. And another Annabelle mascara. This is a backup of the one I'm using right now, which is the Annabelle Skinny. And that I discovered from fellow YouTuber Drea Cien, who mentioned it was a dupe for a MAC mascara for the lower lashes. And I really, really like it for that purpose. Next up is the Shock YSL um, Le Shock or The Shock. This is a uh, volumizing effect mascara that I have heard a lot about and I will look forward to using it. Next over is the Monsieur Big in Waterproof. And the reason I have that one is because I always want to have a waterproof mascara on hand. And when my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Waterproof bites the dust, that will be the mascara that will replace it. Next over is the Full Lash uh, Mascara by Shiseido. And beyond that is an Hourglass Mascara. And after that, you'll see two Dior Show mascaras. One of those was gifted just a couple of days ago, so I'm down to one on those. And then a mascara called Tarte Gifted that is just fine. I've used one of those before and yeah, I'll get to it at some point or I will gift it as well as it is untouched. And we are on to yet more lip products. If you saw my makeup collection in lip products, you will know that I have over 200. <laughs> I still can't get over that number. And these are a lot of deluxe samples that I have. And uh, let's just go from left to right. The top left is a NARS Cruella. That's actually a full size product that just came as a gift with purchase. So that's why it's in my backups. This is uh, below it is a set from Sephora. It was a Christmas set and for $10 less 20%, I think I was I got for those little mini cream uh, lip stains. And I really like that lipstick and I really appreciated the fact that I could get them in such a small size, but get the variety. So that's why I picked that up. You'll see uh, back on the top there, a couple of Joe Fresh lip balms. I really don't need those as backups. <laughs> so they will probably be gifted. I just thought that for just a couple of bucks, these were just fantastic lip balms. And then you'll see a couple of Too Faced Melted Matte three Tarte lip paints, and then you'll see a couple of La Neige lip, um, I guess those are lip masks, and I did give the beige one, which is I think a vanilla, I gave that one away last week, and then you'll see another lip balm from Sephora right next to it, and then a couple of items from Smashbox, one of them is the Maneater, and then the other one after that is Stepping Out, but the Stepping Out, I also just gifted recently. Then you'll see a Buxom Dolly. I absolutely will go through the one I'm currently using. I'm very happy there's a backup there. A couple of bullets from Sephora that is the Perfect 01 Red. A underage red, I think, from Kat Von D. Then at the very end is a 1993 Urban Decay bullet. Underneath, you'll see three NARS lipsticks, a Bobbi Brown, a Charlotte Tilbury, a Ciate, Bare Minerals, Stila. Those are all deluxe minis that I got for some reason or another, usually gift with purchase. And then the bottom right-hand side is a couple of gloss 
tube refills for my Quo glosses. That is the extent of my extra lipsticks that I clearly don't need any more of. Now this is an oddball uh, set here, Party Pops. This is a Clinique Beauty Insider set that I think I got for 500 points. And you'll see in there, there's a, a lipstick, a Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen that I'm very curious to try, another mascara, and then the Take the Day Off Makeup Remover as well. I'm going to be doing a focus on Clinique at some point in taking out all of my Clinique products and that set is going to be part of that brand new focus. I don't have a ton from Clinique so I'd like to try all of those products all at once. It was not in my train case but it's a bit of a rogue set that really didn't fit anywhere else in my collection video. So I just stuck it in here for good measure, I guess. But uh, if you want to see my me using these Clinique products sooner than later, just let me know. And we're down to the last slide and another oddball slide. So here I have a couple of the Mont Guerlain backup deluxe samples of that is, it's my favorite perfume, let's just say that. So they're five mil each and one of those takes me months and months to get through and one in fact is in my uh, Roulette Pan collab and I'm realizing just how many months it takes to get through one of those. So I will probably have enough for the full year with those two. A brush that is a an extra brush, I think I paid $10 for it. Well, I happen to have a, an exact duplicate of that brush in my collection. It was a rouge gift. So I've put this one aside and we'll pull it out when the other one starts to look a little ratty. And then you'll see a bunch of, I see here, cleansing conditioner, perfecting spray, uh, CC cream, those are all hair products along with the Redken pillow talk, uh, sorry, pillow proof blow dry. Those I save for when I travel and I want to have a deluxe set of products, hair products. And yeah, that's why those would be in uh, my train case. I don't have a ton of those that are not foil packets, these more, these larger size products. And uh, yeah, I just found that keeping them in my train case is the uh, best place for them, at least at this time. Well, that's it. Everything that is in my train case, I hope you found it entertaining and or useful. I thank you very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, but for now, take care.